Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to go through and quickly show you how to create a video, the nice, quick, easy, fast method. And then in later videos, I'll go through and we'll do much more extensive looks at how the themes and effects and such work. For now, let's get started. Previously, we created our Phoenix Deep Fried Mash. Okay, so here we are in Phoenix Deep Fried. As you can see in the audio, I have two Creative Commons MP3 files that we'll use later on. And we have some images. So normally what you would do for a client you're trying to get or for an existing client is drag their logo down, decide how long you want it. And then what I normally do is add a title box. Now you notice when you drag this, if you put it on top of an existing item in the timeline, it will go in front of it if you drop it there. But if you drag it down to the to the whole screen turns dark gray like that, it means you're dragging it to the end of that clip. Like so. Now in here, you can see your editable text, so you might put something like The name of the restaurant, the client, Phoenix Deep Fried. Right, and if you move the, the slider across, you can see in the preview window what it's going to look like. And I don't particularly like those colors. I like nice bright ones. Although that might be a bit much for some people. Do it the other way around. Right red text. Okay, and you can adjust the size. You don't want to fill up quite that much. Right, and then at the end you can put the client's name. Might even fix the spelling. Or their website. Bearing in mind that you have to get this to fit in. And then you can select the type style as well. The text size here so that it fills up as much or as little as you want. Okay, so once we've done that, then of course we want to add all of our sexy images. like lobster, although I think this might actually be marin, but I'm not real sure. And cooked crab, and maybe an image of the front of the site, which you probably want before that, but anyway. And then once again, We'll put their logo in and then right at the end we'll put the uh, the logo of the creator which in this case is me of course all right so we'll drag that across and you can also drag it across here and if we play that and easy and boring. So let's put some audio in. Actually first before we do that what we'll do is we'll put in some transitions and we'll go into the effects and such later. Uh, I usually use crossfade for my transitions and remember like I said the one you want it in front of you drag it on top of. So if you want it between these two, drag it on top of that one, and there it is. As you can see, it transitions between the title page and the image. So I'll just drag that down to all of those. Okay, 
here we'll put a quick effect a caption let's put it on top of this one and as you can see it's the same it comes out five seconds the same length as the normal image length when you first start them so let's call this phoenix deep fried we'll put a cursor over it so that we can see what it looks like and we'll have to change that change the back alpha so that it's We'll change this so that it's not transparent. Change that to a nice bright fluorescent pink because pink just is. Change the back color so it matches a little bit. And we'll change that to that. I'll move this across to here and then just select just hover over the end until you can see this little left arrow and that will allow us to shorten the length of that and you can also shorten it over here currently it's 2.9 seconds and you can be a little bit more accurate and make it exactly 3 seconds They're right there and then you can butt it up against that because it has a has a slight snap to guide in it okay i'll we'll just quickly preview that phoenix deep fried phoenix precious seafood west of texas phoenix deep fried .com, and so on sorry my my voice is a little bit croaky today please forgive me Okay, and we want to put a text box down here for this image. And then we want to position it down the bottom, and then we'll scale it. way these colors so it matches a little bit better in with the logo still have to put in our audio uh, we'll put in this one I think right, and this you just drag down and it creates a new section on the timeline and because our video is actually only that long and not that long what we do is we select the audio then click split and then we can just delete that section and there we go our video is that long so we drag that back along there we'll zoom in a bit so that we can see the end better and then we can select that as we split it all of the information is still actually there and as we drag it along to the right it extends the end so because I like my music loud I'm going to bump this up to 100% and of course we want our audio to fade down to zero close to the end and this is what it comes out like
we simply click on save and then go into the asset manager select that click on render and click on the size that you want renaming it of course like this phoenix deep fried will be added to the front of this in front of the hyphen demo one and select the size that I want and click OK and it will be sent to the to the EC2 server that you have running in the background and it will be rendered rendered into a video okay in the next one I'm going to go through and show you more about how some of the effects and some of the text options work but I think that'll do for now to get you started quickly on creating your own first videos. I'll see you again shortly if my voice holds up. Thank you.